right, thank you, Tony. Well, with so many people trying to get somewhere or to finish shopping and having to contend with weather on top of that, frustrations may be running high. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner continues our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage now, live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Jared? Yeah, Mike and Shannon, it's a really interesting topic area. We're going to get into it in a moment. As for the plan tonight, the weather plan, Rydot saying its trucks will uh, drop materials, uh, spread them across the roadways, and we have seen that happen already. The traffic, as we give you a live look this hour, it's been steady all day. No crashes uh, near Providence Place, a major choke point. That has been fortunate, but this is the second day now of people heading out of town. Millions of New Englanders on the move ahead of Christmas. A little weather to contend with tonight. This as gift buying is still not done for many stragglers. And with so many people out comes less than kind driving. Patience certainly wears thin, especially when you wait to the last minute to do your shopping. Traffic congestion around the malls is especially difficult. Diana Imundi is with AAA Northeast. A AAA study found almost 80% of drivers surveyed admitted to aggressive driving, even road rage. Aggressive driving might be any maneuver where you cause another driver to change their position on the roadway, hit their brakes, stop short. Almost as many said they believe the problem is bigger now than three years ago and New England drivers are on the naughty list. 30% more drivers will admit to honking, to tailgating, to those aggressive behaviors. Gestures, shouting, rolling down windows. Don't engage, look straight ahead, keep your cool. Police Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Berry telling us today he has more troopers out. They recognize that less than ideal weather is a complicating factor this weekend, and they are also asking the public, call the public, by the way, a multiplying uh, factor in their ability to get uh, different places and to address threats on the road, asking the public to call in, call into the barracks, report drivers that are erratic and potentially impaired. Live above 95 near Providence Place tonight, Jared Kleiner, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jared. And we also have a crew out monitoring the driving conditions in Breaking News 1. These are live pictures right now from Route 44 in Smithfield. Not much change since our live report at 530. At this hour, we can tell you that very light snow is falling on and off. The roads are wet, but not icy right now. And wherever you're going this weekend, the new and improved Eyewitness News and Pinpoint Weather apps are great tools to have. You can get news, weather, and traffic alerts sent right to your phone or tablet and have access to live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar anytime.